The U.S. Federal Reserve raised its key policy rate to the highest level in a decade. It's the first major decision taken under its new chairman, and fueled by a stronger American economy, the upward trend may continue. Kim Hyesung helps us look beyond the digits. On Wednesday, local time in its first meeting under Chairman Jerome Powell, the U.S. Federal Reserve raised rates by a quarter percentage to a target range of one and a half to one and three quarters percent. It was the sixth increase since December 2015 when the Fed started tightening monetary policy for the first time since the financial crisis. The job market remains strong, the economy continues to expand, and inflation appears to be moving toward the FOMC's 2 percent longer run goal. The Fed also boosted its economic outlook, signaling it may favor a more aggressive pace of rate hikes. It expects faster economic growth in the U.S. this year at 2.7 percent, up from its December forecast of 2.5 percent, and it sees growth of 2.4 percent next year. Policymakers continue to project a total of three rate hikes this year, but they sped up their plans for next year, calling for three more rate hikes instead of two. Now, U.S. rates are higher than South Korea's for the first time in more than 10 years, and the Bank of Korea currently has its key rate at 1.5 percent. At an emergency meeting Thursday morning, BOK Governor Lee Joo-yeol said the central bank is ready to act to stabilize financial markets if necessary. But he added that the U.S. rate hike was widely expected and that it'll have little impact on the South Korea market, citing Korea's strong economic fundamentals and fiscal soundness. A short-term base rate difference between the U.S. and Korea will not trigger a sharp capital outflow given our economic fundamentals. But if the rate gap continues to grow, with the Fed expected to raise rates three times this year, capital outflow could happen. So the BOK is likely to raise rates this year one or two times. At the confirmation hearing for his reappointment Wednesday, BOK Chief Lee Joo-yeol said he would be cautious about the timing of any rate hikes, pointing to external risks like growing trade protectionism and domestic issues like the growing income gap, household debt, and subdued inflationary pressure. But if the Fed hikes rates again in June, the gap with South Korea could grow, so all eyes are on the BOK's upcoming monetary policy meetings, which are scheduled April, May, and July. Kim Hye-sung, Arirang News.